So for today, we're going to be looking at the seasonal challenges plus 801 and a reverse in that order. So that way you guys are aware of what's up for the week. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Other than that, let's just get into it. So to start off, rare herbalist, collect flakes, the rare regions used to make tonics in Ido's tonic laboratory. So this one's just play the game. Uh, above and beyond complete bonus objectives and onslaught salvation this is going to be rough because i don't know how much percentage it gives hopefully it's not super terrible performance enhanced defeat combatants in episode revenant activities with a volatile tonic active so yeah this one is just going to be have a volatile tonic active while doing stuff in revenant which is not hard uh, expert sector complete a lost sector on expert difficulty or higher we're going to see which lost sector is up for the week even though i think tomorrow is going to be different which I'm recording this like at 10, 11 o'clock at night. So it's definitely going to be different. But for those of you who are watching this earlier, let's just, we'll see which one is up for right now. Complete any nightfall on Grandmaster. So Grandmaster's up, um, which is pretty cool. Let me go see. So the easiest way for you to know where to go would be, um, oh, oh, this is rough. I thought, didn't it used to just show you where it was? Is it just showing you all the dungeons? Cause that's kind of uh, stupid, bro. <laughs> kind of hella dumb. Um, either way, it's probably gonna, oh, it's right here. It's in the hell. Where don't they, don't they just, uh, I've not done any of these. It's right here. Hmm. If solo exotic engram, which I probably need to do this because I need one for my warlock. If solo legendary weapon. Cool. Um, Grandmaster, let's see what Grandmaster is up. It is, ooh, Savathun's Throne World, a light blade. This one's going to be rough. Ugh. So that is pretty much it for a, or for the challenges. Let me know what you guys are going to be doing. Let's look at the fit for the video because I know people are going to just point at it. Um, this is just a set that I made real quick because, uh, 801 mask. Um, if I'm being honest, I'm going to switch this out for something else, but 801 mask, uh, grip E for the arms, which goes with the Ren 2.0 veteran legend vest, and then the forbidden visage cloak. So yeah, something fun just to do. Nothing too crazy because, uh, again, I'm going to be switching this up a bit, but shader is Sato tribe, which is the best shader in the game. And then we have, let me see, envious touch. Echoes of Io, War Cult Camo, and then for the armor set, it's going to be all this right here. Um, I'm just going to show you the armor without talking because I've talked about this armor in length. we have just to remind you guys i've already made or actually hmm, how is this happening yeah i think the eververse video will be going up first so the eververse video is already up for the uh for festival of loss so if you guys want to check that out definitely check that out first because we go through all of it go through all of the stuff here i mean all of it painstakingly and we go through the each of the classes as well so that way you guys can see each of the hunter titan and warlock sets not only the new ones but the old ones as well I go through each of them just to talk about how I think about them. Um, and we go through this as well, but we're going to go through it again. So if, in case you didn't see that video, so Skelegal, which I definitely do recommend this shader. It's a pretty decent shader. Just be aware that the black is much more of a brown black. It's not like a traditional black, which you guys can see from like right here, that's black, but then right here, that's not black. Just, just be aware of that. Uh, we have shadow strike. <clears throat> Um, Gord Sumner, Jack O'Shell, and then for the stuff at the bottom, we have Worm Perilous, Grotesque Lapis, The Wretched Bow, or Bog, I don't know, uh, Eternal Shell, Jump Scare. Knock, knock. 
Luminous Cocoon. Up in Smoke. Arachnophile. Clinging Cobweb for the first shader. Byron Medusa for the second. This Bramble shader for the fourth, third, and then for the final one, Dark Fluorescence. So that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. Just be aware that this Clinging Cobweb shader is actually the shader for this armor right here. Let me go show you real quick. Or the Megalomorph for the Hunters. So this is the shader that it comes with. So make sure you pick that up because it is a really good shader. Um, yeah, overall, I have nothing much to say about this. I'm currently going to be doing some videos for you guys. Obviously, this armor is going to be being showcased probably within this week or next week. We're going to be pushing out the review video on the shader video. The class specific video is going to be going up as well. Um, obviously, because there is no Assassin's Creed piece um, available for right now. It's probably going to be after the event. So gives me some time to actually make some sets and have those videos up early so that way you guys can get those early on probably on Friday. But yeah, we're going to be doing these. Matt, really excited for all of these. I mean, all of them are really cool. I do think the Titans set is a bit of like, actually, I think it's the best one from everyone just because <sighs> there's only so many edgy sets that I see that I'm like, whatever. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys coming to this point. Be safe. I'll see you guys later.